Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today, we're treating ourselves to these decadent bourbon dark chocolate truffles. They taste like a rich high-end dessert, but are super easy to make, and ingredients are as simple as they come. Let's begin. We will need eight ounces of chocolate, and I am using a combination of dark chocolates here. Use good chocolate here and taste the chocolate before you use it. The better the chocolate tastes, the better flavor you will get in the truffles. In the stainless steel bowl, mix chocolate, 3 4 cup of heavy cream, and a pinch of salt. Put a pan of water to boil and turn down to simmer on the stove. Place your mixing bowl in the water. This is called the double boiler method and it prevents the chocolate from burning. Keep stirring as it cooks and it will be ready when the chocolate is completely melted. Add two tablespoons of bourbon and you can easily substitute with cognac, rum, coffee liquor, or if you don't want to use uh, alcohol, just use a little bit of vanilla extract. The liquor will not make your truffles taste like alcohol. It will just enhance the decadent taste of chocolate. Mix well until the alcohol is incorporated fully. Pour the mixture into a flat pan, cover and let it rest for at least two hours in the fridge. While the truffles are cooling, let's set up our truffle toppings. I will set up unsweetened cocoa powder, chopped pumpkin seeds, and you can use here pistachios, nuts, seeds, anything for a little bit of crunch. And for a bright pop of color and flavor, I will crush some freeze-dried raspberries. Our chocolate mixture is fully cooled down and we could start rolling our truffles. You could roll them with your hands if you add a little oil to them, or like me, you could use food-safe gloves. Roll your truffles in your toppings, and you will need to press truffles into some of the toppings so they will stick. Once your truffles are ready, they taste best at room temperature, but if you're not planning to use them the same day, just keep them in the refrigerator and bring them back to room temperature when you're ready to eat. Enjoy!